Hey, did you notice that your snake flashes out of existence the same way with both spikes and the uh, end of the level? Yeah. Obviously, your snake dies at the end of every level. Well, yeah, they activate the moon laser. Yeah. They sacrifice themselves to the sun. Moon laser. I feel like a lot of our politics would be better if we just did more sacrifices to the sun. I'm just saying. Yeah, honestly, I agree. Let's, uh, I think we need to, like, really make Huitzilopochtli, um, that's probably how you pronounce it. Uh, we, we need to make him uh, cool again. I feel like whenever a Speaker of the House or a Senate Majority Leader is leaving their post, uh -huh. uh, we just sacrifice them to the sun. That actually sounds like a good idea. But, well, no, it's not a good idea because it will incentivize them not leaving their posts. So we need to pair that with term limits. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. We figured it out. Yes. Term limits and more human sacrifice. Yeah. M H R A. Make Quetzalcoatl relevant again. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Was that the Aztec god of the sun? Ah. Uh, or was he war? I can't remember. Uh, well, we have. Because I know you sacrificed to both of them. Well, we have the uh, Senate Majority Leader and the House Representative, so we have two, so we can sacrifice to both guys. Oh no, I, I mean if I'm getting the name right. I can't remember which one Quetzalcoatl is. Because uh, that might be the sun. No, Quetzalcoatl is the Rainbow Serpent. I think that's wind. Is it? Oh, okay. The big flying snake? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know what he looks like and stuff, but I thought he was uh, God of the Sun. Hmm. This is a question. Because I know he's huge, and I know one of their huge gods was um, was based on the sun, and one was based on the war, because those were really big to those motherfuckers. Yeah, they kind of dug both those things. Yeah. Uh, I just can't remember which one was Quetzalcoatl and which one was Huichilopochtli. Well, you know what? We have two. We can sacrifice to both the gods. Yep, this is true. And just, you know, split the difference. Yeah, that's that's the reason we have the House and the Senate. Yeah, so we can sacrifice to both gods. See, yeah. this is what happens when you don't read the Articles of the Confederation. Well, this you is why the this. Founding Fathers were geniuses and gods. Yes. And we need to interpret their will correctly. As opposed to, you know, just... Okay, you know what? Joking on. aside, we shouldn't sacrifice to the sun. That's bad. We should sacrifice to the true gods, the Founding Fathers. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, like, one member for every Founding Father. Yes. That's a lot of members. <laughs> well, we have a lot of politicians. That's true. This will a lot really, of them are shitty, so... <laughs> this will really hammer home the fact that they are all just disposable bureaucrats. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I wonder what kind of incentive structure that would create. Like, well, obviously we would have to mandate that people become politicians. Well, I feel like... It would be like eating the snake, uh, eating the the steak in Soylent Green, where it's like, all right, so you're gonna die, mm -hmm. but before you do, your life's gonna be awesome. Okay. So it's like, yeah, you're going to live like a king for the four or six years you're in power. Uh huh. But then after that, you you gotta lie down on this altar here. Yeah, there might be enough people around who are so discontented that they'd be they'd be down for that shit. They'd be down with that sickness. Yeah. They'd be down to clown until they're dead in the ground. <laughs> now we're just doing the juggalo thing, huh? <laughs> you know what? I feel like if we added a juggalo politician at this point, no one would really bat an eye. Oh no. Like that's that's nothing at this point. Like the only thing that would make people bat an eye at this point would be an atheist. I was about to say, you know, somebody in full fursuit on the Senate floor. Mm. But then I thought, you know what? No, you're right. They, I think a lot of people would take that before atheists. Yeah, I know people would. Because atheists are, for some reason, ridiculously maligned in this country. <laughs> There's been a really good PR campaign against them. I think you're done. I heard a little bing. Ah. Well, maybe I want to be friendly with it. Well, I mean, that's fine. Maybe I want to give it a hug. I was just, just uh, letting you know, just in case. Leavers need hugs, too, man. Come on. Leavers, Tektites, and Octoroks, too? Yeah, come on, man. But with your help, our hero pulls through. Yeah. Yeah. 
with the power of hugs and friendships. Do you even know what I'm quoting? Uh, very vaguely. <laughs> it's the fucking stupid Legend of Zelda rap from a, a commercial back in the 80s for the original Zelda. Oh, Aha. yeah. Yeah, um, The Legend of Zelda is really rad. Uh, something, something, something is really bad. I think he's talking about Ganon at some point. I don't remember. I, I don't know the exact wording of that, but it's it was really fantastic and really captured the essence of The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Your mind is this encyclopedia of cringy, stupid bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and I love it. Right. <laughs> That shit was all over the place, though, back in the 80s. I guess you're just just young enough that you don't remember that. Yeah, I was born in 88. <coughs> right. And then I spent the four, first four years of my life in Germany. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so you missed out on a lot of that, that earlier bullshit garbage. Like, by the time I... Damn. That is a lot of Chinese propaganda. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Chinese are multiplying and all. That's true. They, uh, they did recently get rid of their, um, they did. their one-child policy, so that must be the end result. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was many stakes. Well, see, mistakes. Yeah. See, they're misplacing these stakes, because yeah. all these stakes underwater, like, that doesn't make no well, sense. Well, they don't believe, they don't belong here in Snake's America. Yeah. It's like, ha-ha, you're... Your global warming conspiracy nonsense doesn't make any sense when the seas rise. Oh my god. Is this... Is this a prequel to Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> Guns of the Patriots? <laughs> this is the first thing on the Metal Gear Solid timeline. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, your snake's a patriot, obviously. Yeah. So... Yeah. I'm going to ignore that the patriots were kind of the bad guys in Metal Gear Solid's lore. <laughs> yeah. They were ass. <laughs> they were asp. <gasps> the deep lore. I know, right? That's yeah, the problem. This is the king snake because he's trying to take back his country. From those damn dirty asps. Yeah. <laughs> the asps are the problem. They're ruining this country. Mm-hmm. He also wants to go back to a monarchy. <laughs> The He's board. a sovereign citizen who wants a monarchy because he doesn't understand anything at all. They're the ones that are making gravity take me without my consent! <laughs> Fuck you, asps! Oh, beautiful. Oh, no. Oh, no. What Snake want free doing? ride. <laughs> These are my bootstraps and they will pull me up. Uh-huh. Damn it! There. Perfect. You have succeeded at the game. 100%. No failures, no mistakes, mm -hmm. everything Kei Kakudori. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. This does not seem to be working properly. I'm sure it's the game's fault and not anyone else's. No. You should have just stayed! <laughs> Hit me! Sir, you have a 21. I said hit me. I want to live dangerously. <laughs> it's like playing Russian roulette with a full clip. <laughs> uh, sorry, magazine. I'm so used to, to liberal propaganda. <laughs> no. No! Oh no! Aha. You did not... You did not fall to the Chinese propaganda. I'm smart. I know how to identify fake news. Mm -hmm. Snake news. Man, I wish people knew how to identify fake news. Am I just backwards? Yes. Okay. Because I got the thing. Yeah. I know how to identify fake news, says people who fall for fake news. Mm -hmm. One problem is that fake news has actually gotten really good at masking itself. Yeah! Like, people have figured out just the proper way to be charismatic about this shit and just present it in such 
such a plausible way where if you don't actually research this shit, or even if you do research it, there's there's a possibility that what they're saying could be true. There's just enough. Yeah, like, we, we have just recently gotten our bullshit sensors to, uh, to pick up the way politicians are all fake and clean and stuff, and we've lost... Gravity is fake news! So, so the next thing we need to do is figure out how to, um, how to figure out how, like, bloviating and overconfidence can lead to bullshit. Because if you say something strongly enough, people tend to believe you, and that shouldn't happen. Yep. The other thing people really, really need is to recognize their own prejudices. Oh, yeah. Because that's a problem even I have. Mm -hmm. Well, I think everybody does. Yeah, because everyone has prejudices. Yep. And I think a big problem is these days a lot of people conflate prejudice with racism. Yeah. And that is not the same at all. No, pre-Judas, it means judging beforehand. And everyone does it. Your yep. brain would not work if you didn't do this. Yeah. Back. Yeah. I just realized what the green one is. Oh, no. Way uh, the fuck over there. Okay. That's a hike. Yeah. Oh, time to go. Yeah, and prejudice is a very useful tool. The issue is that a lot of people are not willing to change their minds once it's proved that their prejudice was incorrect. Yep. It's like prejudice and ignorance. It's like these are things that everyone has. Mm -hmm. There's nothing inherently wrong with them mm -hmm. as long as you're willing to recognize and change them when they are identified to you. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes you don't need to change your prejudice, and that's fine. Yes. It means you were right. But sometimes you're wrong, and you need to recognize that fact and change accordingly. Like, uh, if I drive my car at top speed into a brick wall, uh, something bad will happen. That's yeah. a prejudice. I have no direct personal evidence that that will be the case. Mm -hmm. But my prejudice there is that this will be a bad thing and end poorly for me. Yeah. And, and most evidence, most evidence, uh, kind of tears it out. Yeah. Even if I've never personally experienced it, you know, the I, I trust the evidence on that one. Mm -hmm. And the uh, risk reward for testing it out isn't particularly uh, compelling. All right. And ignorance just means you have ignored a certain thing. Yeah, it means you don't know. Yeah, the, the word ignore is right there in the fucking word. Yep. And you know what? It's fine to be ignorant about things. Like, yeah. I am willfully ignorant of the mating habits of shrews. <laughs> yeah. And I personally treasure my ignorance on World of Warcraft lore. <laughs> I know very little about that, and I do not want that to change. Right. I mean, it's usually better to know something than not, but... There's some things because, you're fine not knowing. Well, the thing is, like, because there's limited resources, you have to prioritize. There's that. But being the Lovecraft fan I am, I'm also a fan of there's certain things you really don't want to know. Yeah. Like, I don't know the sexual preferences of Newt Gingrich, and I don't want that to change. Yeah. I mean, that actually wouldn't be a big deal if we knew the sexual preferences of everybody. Because then it would just be a, a thing. It wouldn't matter at all. But, uh... But yeah, that's that's only ignorance. Um, <coughs> that's situational stuff. Like, yeah. That, that's a case of... Uh, you don't want to know this thing because you don't want to have special knowledge above a bunch of other things that are far more preferable to know. Yeah. And there's other kinds of ignorance. Like, I'm ignorant <coughs> to the Tonganese legal proceedings. And yeah. that's fine, because I'm never going to Togo. Yeah. So it's fine to be ignorant about some things. Mm-hmm. It's when you're violently and willfully ignorant that's a problem. Well, when you're violently and willfully ignorant about stuff that matters and affects your life and the lives of others, like, that's a problem. Yeah. And when you're willfully spreading misinformation via your ignorance, like, that's a problem, too, because... I don't claim to know World of Warcraft's lore, just like you were talking about. But I don't go around telling people that Azeroth was the first seed of the 
Tarin Empire. Because I don't even know what those mean, I just know those are words. <laughs> and I know that Tarin and Azeroth are things in World of Warcraft. <laughs> And I don't know what First Seed even means anyway, and I don't even know if that's a World of Warcraft thing. Okay, so I lied about my World of Warcraft ignorance, because uh -huh. my sister's a big World of Warcraft Right, nerd. right. You were dangerously close to actually saying something that could make sense. Wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And see, here's that's the thing. That is fake news. That is how fake news works. You say it confidently, and it's dangerously close to the truth, but it's not the truth. <laughs> Like, if you changed one word in that sentence, that yeah. would have been like... Well, yeah, I, I imagine it would be the human empire, because Azeroth is the thing everybody talks about, and I'm assuming the humans are the main characters. Uh, no, the close thing, and I am probably very wrong about what I'm about to say, but uh, I'm going to say it anyway. All right, can't stop let's me. spread this ignorance. Uh, so, apparently in World of Warcraft, like, Lovecraftian style Elder Gods are a thing? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm aware of Cthune. And, uh... So fucking... Azeroth, I'm pretty sure, is the name of the planet. Oh. And that's, like, the, the big, like, oh god, why? Uh-huh. Is that's actually, like, an elder god egg. Oh, okay. So you were, like, really close. I was incredibly close. Yeah, like, shockingly so. Because <laughs> the Tauren are on Azeroth. Yes. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, and Correction Fox is not going to go do research on that because... Yeah. Ah, fuck you that. could you could look that shit up Whoa. yourself or know it, yeah. whichever. Yeah. If you care, you probably already know it. Yeah. If you care, you already know it, and we don't, and we don't care. Yeah. So you can tell us, but you know what? We're not gonna listen. I mean, I'll I'll probably read the comment and listen and be like, okay, I understand that thing now, and then proceed to forget it until it becomes relevant, and then I'll probably misremember it slightly. Yeah. But you know what? I don't think we need those gate keys. Yeah. You know, Bird? I think we're good. I think just taking a nap right here. Yeah. In the shade where it's coming. We're good. We're good. We're good.